What's up booty babes? This is Danita with Booty Bands and today I want to give you the most amazing ab challenge. This challenge is actually going to hit every single section of your core. So let's go through it. First I'm going to go over the transverse and rectus abdominals and why it's so important to make sure that you're targeting your transverse, the deeper, the really really light center, the corset of your actual abdominals. Next I'm going to go over the top part of your abs. I'm going to go into the middle part of your abs. I'm going to go into the lower part, which we all want, right? Then I'm going to go into your obliques and I'm also going to go into your back. So I'm going to target all areas. So if you've got any sort of muffin top or you're really wanting to shred and lose and tighten and tone, this is a place to do it. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, I'm going to go ahead and use a booty band to add a little bit of some resistance to my workout today. If you would like to as well, you can go ahead and get yours in the link below and also the free workouts that come with it. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go into targeting the transverse abdominals, which is the inner part of your core. Rather than focusing on just the outer part, which a lot of us tend to, tend to do, if you're not focusing on the inner part, the corset of your abdominals. So let's go ahead and go through that practice first, and then as we are going through the workout today, I want you to just be conscious of actually using the corset of your muscles, okay? So go ahead and lie on down to your back. You can place your booty band on here. You do not need your booty band in this particular exercise, um, but it will, it will help later on in our, in our workout today. So what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and place your fingers right below your belly button. And what I want you to do is take a nice good inhale and lift your fingers up with your air. And then what I want you to do is exhale and squeeze your belly button back towards your spine. But I, what I want you to also think of is imagine like you have a corset around your entire core. And I want you to just imagine somebody is pulling the strings of your corset and it's just getting tighter and tighter and tighter, okay? So let's go ahead and expand the corset. So inhale. Good, and then exhale, bring that corset, squeeze everything back towards your spine, get a nice, good, tight tummy, okay? So that's what our focus is. Every single time I do in either an exercise in the gym with free weights or whether I'm doing my core exercises, I always think about targeting that corset first and that really actually gives you a lot more strength than you realize when you're doing your workouts. So notice today that you're actually gonna find yourself stronger by targeting that transverse abdominals. Okay, so let's go ahead and go into it. So I'm, let's first go into the top part of our abdomen in our workout today. What I'm gonna have you do is bring your legs up to a tabletop position. What I've noticed is if I do this, it's a lot easier and it doesn't challenge me as much. So go ahead and bring your legs slightly back and you will be getting a little bit more of your lower core as well. So we're gonna be focusing on your top, port, top part of your core. What I want you to do is go into your corset abdominal. So I want you to Take a nice good inhale, exhale, tighten everything, and I want you to lift. Again, don't lift with your neck. I want you to lift right from your core, from your center. I want you to get a nice good hold, a little pulse up at the top, and then come down. We have a total of 10 of those. Inhale, exhale, tighten your corset, come up, hold, a little pulse, and roll down. Keep going. me too. Sometimes I use my hands to guide me. I try to go right up towards the sky. Rather than going straight forward, I like to go up rather than down. Neither one of them's wrong. I just like to focus more on the top, so going straight up. Beautiful job. Now let's target um, just the lower. We're gonna go right into the lower abdominal. Usually this is going to be an area where people say the pooch area. This is a great place to target that area and really start defining and sculpting. Go ahead and bring your legs back up. This is where we're gonna really utilize that band. Now this is where I want you to really focus on that tabletop, bringing those knees away from you. Get a nice good um, actual 90 degree angle there rather than cheating and bringing your legs up here, right? So you can go ahead and place your hands down. Again, think of that corset, squeeze everything in. What I want you to do is go ahead and open your legs and then you're going to rock to the side, OK? 
okay? So we have a total of 10 of these open, rock to the side. That was one. If you'd like to make a little bit challenging, I actually like to kick my legs out. If you want to do one leg at a time, that's fine until you start getting a little bit stronger. Or if you're advanced, go ahead and try both legs out. In. So it feels like it was 10 to me. We are going to do a, co a total of three rounds, so don't worry. We will do that again. So let's go ahead and go into now our, um, our whole front side. So we're going to be focusing on everything down the center, our six packs abs right here, okay? All right, so this next one is going to be the star crunches. So you're going to be working on a reverse and a regular crunch. This is such a great exercise. I love the burn of this. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and bring everything up off the mat, your shoulder blades as well as your legs. Now here's what you want to focus on is you want to make sure that you're not arching your neck. You want to make sure you have a nice good long spine. So just barely gently putting your fingers on the back of your head. From here I want you to think of your transverse abdominals, squeeze that corset first and you're going to come down you're going to tap your feet, tap your shoulder blades down, come back up and squeeze. Squeeze that transverse and come back down. You have a total of 10. You also want to be very gentle with your back. You don't want to be arching your back. So if you're coming down and you're feeling that your back is arching, you're actually going too low and you need to get a little stronger in your core. So a modification to that is just bringing your legs here and not going all the way to the ground. So listening to your body, making sure that you're staying into the designated area that we're talking about. All right, so the next one we're going to be focusing on your obliques. This is definitely one of my most favorite that I usually target every single time I do my core exercises. I love to just strengthen and tone that area because I used to have love handles and I absolutely hated them and I do not want them to come back. <laughs> so what I want you to do is put your elbow right underneath your shoulder and I want you to go ahead and position your hips so they're stacked on top of each other. From here you're going to go ahead and bend your bottom knee so it's, it's going to be bent back and then your um, front leg is going to be, your top leg is going to be straight out. So go ahead and pop up. You're, and this is um, going to be a great one, especially for a modification because you're not up on your feet, you're on your knees. So I personally love doing this the most and I feel a lot of it in my, in my obliques. So I'm going to have you do a dip. So you're going to go down and up. When you're up, I want you to go ahead and give me a nice good uh, little booty band, little booty band pulse there. What it does is because you're, you're, you're still tightening this bottom area. So drop it down. You're going to come up and pulse. you got 10 on each side. Again, keep that transverse super nice and tight. Keep it tight, tight that corset, squeezing those strings. And let's do the other side. All right, so we flip sides. Let's go ahead and repeat the same thing. Here we go again, keep everything nice and tight. Squeeze it in, drop it down, and lift. All right, and now we're gonna be working our back fat area. We want to get rid of it and we want to sculpt that area. So here's what we're going to do. This is definitely one of my favorites that I incorporate all the time. 
So I want you to go ahead and lay onto your backside. You're gonna be placing the top leg, which you're kind of be tilted a little bit. So your top leg is gonna be bent and then your bottom leg is going to be straight and out. You're gonna pop up onto your elbows and onto your feet here. Now your biggest focus again is into your back and so you wanna make sure that when you're coming up, you're squeezing into that backside area, into that, that love handle area, okay? So we're gonna do a total of 10. We're gonna come up, hold, and then come back down. Slow and controlled, squeezing everything. Anytime that you don't feel it and you need to make a little bit of adjustment, what you would do is just bring your hips either further up towards the sky, further down, wherever you can feel it so you can, you're targeting that back area. Beautiful job. And to the other side, same position. Again, keeping that focus right onto that back. And the bonus, the dessert that's going to target every single thing that we just worked on is going to be in the plank. And so we're going to be doing one minute plank. And then after this one minute plank, we're going to do the entire thing, a total of two more rounds to equal three rounds total on our core today. All right, so let's go ahead and do our one minute plank. I'm going to be doing some variations throughout the entire thing. So come join me. So great work today on your ab challenge. Love to work out with you guys, so thank you for joining me today. Go ahead and grab your booty band by clicking the link below and you'll be able to get free workouts, a free diet plan, and also a community. If you'd like to see more workouts just like this, go ahead and hit subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.